In this section of the course, we're going to look at MIDI. Now, what is MIDI? Well, MIDI stands for Musical Instrument Digital Interface. It's an industry standard protocol that's been around since 1982. It allows electronic instruments and other devices, like controllers, to communicate with each other using a common language. Of course, Pro Tools speaks MIDI, which allows it to receive MIDI information and to send it out to any MIDI device. When you record audio, you're stuck with what you've recorded. You can process the audio in lots and lots of ways, but you can't easily change a note, a performance, or the instrument you played. With MIDI, the only thing you're actually recording are ones and zeros. You then tell Pro Tools where to direct those ones and zeros. Let me give you an example. Here we have a sample MIDI message. Again, just ones and zeros. Now what this actually means is to play a note on MIDI channel one, the note is C3, and the velocity, or how hard we play the note, is 101 out of a possible 127. Now what's nice about MIDI is we can direct that message to any device or even virtual instruments which exist solely in the computer's memory. Pro Tools doesn't care where the message goes. It's up to you to tell Pro Tools where to send it. Before we get into looking at MIDI in Pro Tools, I want to clarify a couple of the terms that I'm going to be using. First of all, MIDI messages or MIDI events. The MIDI language is made up of a series of messages. Those messages can be the ones like I showed you on the previous slides, a note on message. There's also a separate message to tell MIDI to turn a note off. There are messages to tell it to move a pitch bend, to turn a mod wheel on or off or set it to a particular setting and so forth. Just about every parameter has some kind of message associated with it. And those messages are recorded behind the scenes by Pro Tools and played back when you play back a MIDI track. Now each MIDI device sends and receives MIDI information along separate and distinct channels. Most MIDI devices have 16 channels, and when you send a MIDI message out, you specify what channel it goes on. So when we're setting up a keyboard or some kind of MIDI device to play, we need to tell Pro Tools not only what device to play, but what channel on that device. Many devices have multiple layers of sounds, each one on a different channel, so if I send something to channel one, I'm playing one sound, send something to channel two, I'm playing something else. Same device, multiple channels. Now each of the sounds on a MIDI device or in a virtual instrument is called a patch or a program or a preset. We use these terms somewhat interchangeably, although they're slightly different. But when we talk about a program change, we're talking about instructing the device or the instrument to change to a particular setting, a particular sound, a piano, an organ, a glockenspiel, whatever. And finally, not only are we recording MIDI notes, but we're recording MIDI control messages, control changes. We're recording the movements of every knob, fader, the mod wheel, the pitch band, and so forth on a MIDI device. And that works for virtual instruments as well. You'll see in a moment that we can pull up a virtual instrument in Pro Tools and we can assign certain controller changes to every one of the knobs in that virtual instrument. So when I move a controller on my hardware device, it will affect the parameter of my virtual instrument. And of course, Pro Tools can record those changes and play them back. 